One thing I've learned with the hemlock woolly adelgid is that if you think you've learned everything about it, uh, it's going to slap you in the face and you prove you wrong. Here in New York State, we have more hemlocks than any other state in the nation, and indeed they're sort of concentrated in this southeast corner of the Adirondacks around Lake George. If the adelgid is taking a foothold here, that's, there's plenty of room for it to expand into the rest of the park, which is so rich in hemlock, uh, and why this park is so important to New York State and the eastern coast. So when surveying from the ground for hemlock with the adelgid, normally we uh, it's really hard to tell how much of the tree is impacted, how much of it is invested. Um, so when you're walking along on the ground, you might have some sampling bias because you can only reach so many branches. So these are pretty tall trees. Um, so if you find some at the ground, that's a positive indication. But if you don't, that doesn't mean it's not present in the tree already. So it could be that the adelgid has been high up in the tree at the very top for a very long time, but we wouldn't know without climbing to take a look at it. Yeah, the one, I forget when we were walking over, the one I found, I found it was quite a bit on it. I think I know the direction. Yeah, there's little spots where there's plenty of adelgid. Uh, the hemlock woolly adelgid disperses, I think, in my experience, primarily long distance by birds. Uh, and then once it gets into a stand, though, uh, I think the wind is more important for dispersal over short distances. And that's why we want to get up into the canopy of the trees to see if indeed uh, the adelgid has gotten up into the canopies.